Well, I may be considering a number of things. I do know where I land on this. Life as a kid can be confusing enough. First we learn to crawl, then we walk, and finally we run. We learn about our bodies and how they function. As time goes on, we experience that some kids are tall and others are short. Some can throw a football while others can grasp the idea of calculus and physics. But one thing we shouldn't confuse the kids about, their gender. Again, there's enough to try to figure out when you're a kid, but trying to determine a variance in what is factually true, well, that might be the most confusing of all. This past week in New York City, a law was signed that allows parents to put their, on their kids' birth certificates an X instead of an M for a male or an F for a female. What? I get that we want to be sure to be open and tolerant, but haven't we now taken political correctness to a whole new level? I'm not questioning how someone feels or how they might see their own identity, but kids? Well, they're simply just trying to figure all that out. Taking away the stability of being a boy or a girl just seems like it will confuse the matter even more. A few weeks ago, we did a show challenging the idea of alternate facts, and I kind of feel like we need to do that show again. Facts are just that, facts. In that episode, we took on the right and the administration who proposed the idea that facts and truth could vary. They can't. And now I'll take this same approach with the left. The left is constantly discussing science and what they call facts when approaching things like the life of a fetus or climate change and even trickle-down economics. But when it comes to boys being boys and girls being girls, they want to blur the facts and instead impose feelings. It's a different conversation when you're discussing feelings. If you're a boy that feels like a girl or vice versa, that's one thing. You can feel like whatever suits you. But to factually state that you're a boy when your DNA says you're a girl, or a girl when your DNA says you're a boy, well, that's just a complete distortion. Let's be clear, I'm not challenging homosexuality, who someone choose to love, or even how someone feels. I am challenging what you are. If someone who is male wants to dress like a female, that's your prerogative. People have been doing it for some time, and while I haven't, if it's something that makes you feel good about yourself and you identify with, go for it. But when we start to alter facts in order to appease the feelings of someone, we begin to restructure life in a way that there can be nothing factual or true. And when we do this to a child, it's just cruel. Kids need facts. They need stability. They need the truth. Finding myself somewhere in the middle, I'm Seth Denson.